How to colour an image using Affinity Photo's procedural texture. Very basic colour effect. I've got this image here and go up to filters, down to colours and procedural texture. In procedural texture, you can now go here to the equations, go to the plus, click there and click three times to create three channels, R, G and B, red, green and blue. And then you go up here and put R in this one. You can put G and you can put B. That now returns exactly the same image. However, what you can do, you can put here plus 0 0.01 and that will increase the red just slightly. Plus 0 0.01 increases the green slightly and also B again plus 0.01. You can see the example there just by going here after and before. You can move that across and you can see it's very subtle. But of course, if you go up here and instead of 0.01, you can put 0.41 and you can then see it much, much redder. What you can also do is you can change this into a parameter. A really good way of doing this maybe is to set it to A just as a custom input down here. So put A and then divide by 100. And you can just do exactly the same here and put B divided by 100, etc. But you can also create a custom input simply by going down here and putting like R. And that will create an A. And here you can put 41. So now you get exactly the same as before, 0.41. If you want to save this effect, all you need to do is go up here to the presets. And you can go here and create preset. So just create it, color effect, and one, and put it into a category, and that will probably be channel adjustments, and click create, and apply. And there you have a lovely quick red color effect. But also what you can do, you can go to layer, and you can go down here to new light filter layer, colors, and procedural texture. And here you can do exactly the same, but this time it will be a live filter effect as a layer over the top of this effect. So again, just go down there and go for the colors and there it is, color one. Exact same filter and then you can manipulate it and change the settings by increasing or decreasing the value there. You can at any point put minus 41, but it should be noted that if you use this up and down, it will always put it to a positive. So if you actually want to create it with a negative there, you can simply put minus there and then just go with 41 instead there.